this one is from a guy who says that he's he's got to one year alcohol free and he's depressed he's feeling anxious and he's feeling just a sense of apathy i'll read you out the quote i'm not going to read you the name of this guy because uh, it's a private email but i think the idea can help other people right um i very like the idea that you don't have to call yourself an alcoholic uh, i feel still ashamed of my past but my question is something else is it still normal to feel depressed, anxious, or feel apathy near the one-year milestone? Um, you don't have to call yourself anything, particularly an alcoholic. So I'm glad that you, you know you're you're not doing that. And that's going to help you in the long term, I think. Um, there's always a certain amount of shame in everybody's past. You know, regardless of whether they've been drinking alcohol or not, this you know, and it, shame is one of those things. It's a very subjective um, feeling. It's a very subjective emotion. So, you know, what some people will feel shame of, other people won't. You know, you see people doing awful things in this life and not feeling any shame for it. So, um, I think the capacity to feel shame is a good thing, right? I think it shows that. Um, you're changing within yourself that you're willing to change within yourself that you're willing to that you see things from your own past as being something that you don't want to do anymore um, you know but look don't allow it to hinder your progress you know shame as I say is a subjective thing but it can also be a something that you change in some of the things that I've done in my past uh, I was shameful for in my past but on reflection looking back on them I I look at them through different eyes. I look at them through much kinder eyes, the way that I, you know, um, it's just, it is what it is in life. Nobody is without blots on their own, um, on their own journey forwards, in their own history, you know? And there's, there's nothing to say that you won't move forward and not make, still not make um, blunders and do things that in hindsight that you weren't ashamed of, right? So, um, I think it's normal to feel depressed, uh, anxious. I think it's normal to feel apathetic about certain things in life, right? Um, you know, every individual is different, so every individual is going to feel different levels of those things. Uh, you know, stopping drinking alcohol is not really a magic bullet. It's not something that you can stop doing this and um, and everything will become better that you your emotions will gradually get into check i mean because there's emotions are a response to the things that we're doing in the world um a lot of the time the the alcohol has created a life which um doesn't go away as soon as you stop the alcohol it's still there so you have to work on that you know even after a year i think um it's not a magic bullet it depends on on what you're working on yourself right um I want to talk about as well the depression and the anxiety. There's many reasons for depression and anxiety and apathy, right? And I, I mostly feel for most people that these things are an inside job, right? In in terms of feeling depressed rather than being depressed. You know, the same with anxiety. You feel anxious rather than that's the I think the better way to look at things is I feel anxious rather than I am anxious or um, I'm an anxious person. Uh, same thing with apathy. I feel apathy at this moment in time. You know, um, I think it's a better way of, of processing things. You know, these are processes. Depression is a process. It should have a beginning, a middle and an end. Anxiety is the same thing. Apathy is the same thing. We all go through those processes in life at times. But I think to when you start to look at yourself as being depressed or uh, anxious or apathetic then it starts to reflect back on you that you don't feel like you can get out of that whereas if you look at it as a process you see that there is that it is a process that there is a a middle part of this and there's an end and it's the end part that is the most important and that you're focusing on right so um I, I, I don't know you right you know personally so I can't begin to offer you any practical guidance for you yourself right i wish i could but it's just not the way these things work you know it's um when you look at somebody who 
is in the middle of depression or uh, is, is feeling anxious or is feeling apathetic. There are just so many different uh, avenues that you could take. You know, everyone's different in these, you know, so every everyone's footprint is going to be different, right? So, you know, maybe you're just being too hard on yourself. Maybe you your expectations are too great at this time, you know. Maybe you've got to that stage where, y you know, you expected to be some somewhere else and, you, and you're not there, right? Maybe you're expecting something within your emotions or your thinking that 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 would change but a lot of the time you know there's there is so much that you can change in a year when you stop drinking when you make a, a, a um when you make a big habit change in life because of just the nature of the beast right there, there is so much potential for you to change but it doesn't mean to say that you are going to change in that way or you know sometimes it takes a long time for the emotions to go through you know, I remember climbing up, uh, um, going through an experience myself three, four or five years after I stopped drinking alcohol where all these emotions came up um, all at once. And um, yeah, just I went through a sort of a barrier, if you like, that I hadn't gone through before. And um, I hadn't realized I needed to work on those emotions. I'm 11 years into this journey now, right? And sometimes it's a slog. It's been a slog. You know, it, sometimes it's felt like I've been just dragging my feet. Sometimes it, it's felt like I've been deliberately dragging my feet. And other times it's just been like, every time I try and make a step forwards, um, I'm wading through quicksand, if you like, right? Hindsight is twenty twenty. If I could go back to that person I was at the beginning in 2013, and if I could hand myself a manual for everything that I know now and the step-by-step -step guide to do um, to get where I am now, I could shave at least 50% of that time off. At least, you know, if not more. I would say um, in that first year, I could do more in that first year than I, than I did in my first five years. But, but that's hindsight and that's the knowledge that I know now. That's the, the way that I my thinking has changed the way that I, you know, it's top down thinking over emotions. And then um, that's all dealing with life then and how you deal with those things. So look, take it easy on yourself. Take this step by step. Just focus on the things that um, are, are the most important to you. Focus on the things that are going to help you to relax, to release tension if that's what's bothering you, you know. Um, Focus on the things that are going to lift you up mentally, uh, emotionally, you know, and a lot of the time you're going to have to experiment with that, you know, see how far you've already come. That's a, that's a huge thing. And, you know, get into that one year milestone is a huge thing. So, you know, you should congratulate yourself on that and be happy about that because um, it's a huge one. So anyway, I'll stop it for today. I just wanted to uh, wish you buen viaje, as they say here in, uh, in Spain. Uh, good journey and uh, all the best to you. Take care. Almost enough, I'd say. Bye now.